Guess who's back? Back again. Kellerin's back. Tell a friend. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Today we've got my first raid video and it's probably, let's just be level here folks, probably the most difficult of the raid teams out there for all the different splits because you have to split your Galactic Republic Jedi into a couple slightly less coherent pieces instead of having one overpowered Jedi team and one that gets like seven total damage, we're doing something that'll get you eventually to 2.7 on each team. So, uh, you know, we, I could, I suppose, put out a video on how to score with gun guns or whatever and, uh, you know, high five the internet, but uh, this channel doesn't, uh, we didn't sign up for easy, folks. We, we, that's, that's not how it is. And I want to give people as much lead time on this particular comp as possible because it is challenging to understand all the mechanics and the team comp, all of that stuff. So uh, let's, let's jump into it here, folks. Uh, first, here's the team. We have Kelleran back with Mace, Kiedi Mundi, Shock T, and Ayla. And then it's designed to go right alongside the Luminara team. And I'll be putting that video out eventually. That that team is super fun, guys. It's really cool to watch as Kid Fisto just does ridiculous things to people. I just need a couple a couple more relics. Uh, I don't think anyone here can relate, but also, I, I should also state, guys, there's one video in particular that was a great inspiration to me. Funky Bob Fett made a video uh, just showing, he doesn't do sound on his videos, but I'm going to link that video showing how to do it at 2.7 level. So it is very doable at that. This team is very challenging to get all of the modding and uh, relic levels to where they kind of need to be to max this. Uh, so, uh, you know, as I continue to put more relics and more everything on the team, better mods, my, my results improved enormously, very noticeably. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's talk about the mechanics because the mechanics are the way you're going to get better at this. I mean, I guess that makes that that's obvious, but what I'm trying to say is there are a couple specific mechanics you want to target just so that you know how do you improve on this? If you know that it's not a skill issue, then how do you improve? You you need more relic levels and then you need to improve stats based on the mechanics that I'm going to show you. So, first off, Kiadi Mundi's Zeta, it targets Galactic Republic Jedi's uh who are support or healer. We don't have healers on this team, but Shock T and Ayla are both support, and they're going to turn a bunch of their health into offense. And you guys can read it for yourself. Uh, you probably all knew that, but this is a pretty big factor for this particular team. And this is why we're modding everyone with a lot more health than you usually would mod them. Now, the other one that it, that should be pointed out, we're not going to spend all the time reading it out loud. You can pause and read this if you would like, but essentially Keller and Beck as lead wants as much protection as possible. Once he has all that protection, then it, he turns that into more damage for his friends and himself. Is essentially it, guys. So as much protection as possible. So as far as modding goes, we're not going to spend a lot of time talking about this. You can screenshot these if you like. These are the these are the stats that I had when I did my attacks that you guys are going to see in just a moment. Uh, but Keller and Beck, as you can see, tons of protection and then some health and speed. That's pretty great. Obviously, that's what we want. Uh, Relic Nine would, by the way, be really nice just to get that extra. I don't know, 6,000 something protection? Seems seems good for him. Uh, so Mace, I didn't remod him too much. I kept an offense set on him because you want to be doing a lot of damage with your guys, especially the guy who's hitting back all the time. I think that all of these characters, folks, every single one of them would significantly benefit from more speed, an enormous amount of speed, if at all possible. But then you also really want to max out like his health and, uh, you know, his damage, I guess. Well, everyone's stat hungry in this raid, folks. Uh, so Kiedi Mundi, he wants... I didn't actually remod him. This is the one I didn't remod. So I even have my old crit chance 
set on him and I think he's fine you he just you want him to be doing a lot of damage and um, you know he, he's a really interesting character right there honestly he, he does you just want an enormous amount of offense if at all possible folks tons of damage does he crit much? Oh, probably not as much as we want. Shock T just wants health, folks. That's what she wants. And speed. more Maybe more speed than health. She wants both. That she, she is actually does a decent amount of damage. And then finally, we have Ayla, who I did not mod that well. She's a definitely definite target for improvement on my end. But you can see I modded her for more health because that health equates to more damage from Kieti Mundi, and she's going to be hitting back. She calls people to assist. She's uh, she's pretty useful here, guys. So let's uh, jump into the actual video. And um, gosh, I didn't make a video yesterday because it was it took too long testing all of my raid teams, and I'm still still not the most amazing at the raid because there's there's all these mechanics. So uh, first off, guys, uh, you call with Shock T. You call Kieti Mundi to hit. Now, this is something important, folks. Look at the characters that need... Uh, the, look at the the B1s that you need to kill, and, and the other adds, and kill the ones that have the most turn meter. Now, Kieti Mundi has a mechanic on his third ability there that I'm going to use. You almost always just use that ability with him. So, pick someone who's full health, and if you've modded him properly... He'll just one-shot them every time, and then it resets the cooldowns on that particular ability. So, don't... It, like, he already... He almost killed that battle droid up there initially. Don't target him. Kill another one, a full health guy. So there. Uh, killed him. Now, Killer and Beck calls the mass assist. Let's kill another one here. Take him out before they can do it. Now, Mace wants to target the character that has the the shatter point so that and then call Kieti Mundi to assist because that gives Kieti Mundi a hundred percent turn meter or is it a bonus turn I forget which one but one way or another and then Kieti Mundi snipes out another guy and Ayla just does basic the whole time she never uses her special Shock T does her thing Kieti Mundi evaporates someone now there's Droidica you want to kill him first to do a basic with Shock T. You want everyone to have offense up when you can. And then Kieti Mundi's just going to snipe you. Always want to snipe out that, the, the Droidica first. And then uh, we're, we're just killing the weak ones as we can. And really, we want to cut them back from taking a huge amount of turns. Uh, we want to be really efficient with Kieti Mundi, just going in and terrorizing people. And, the, guys, the less efficient you are on this, the more likely it's going to be that it's going to take tons of more attempts, or potentially you're not even going to be able to get that final wave until you have the right stats. Because, that, I mean, that's that's really what this raid is, right? I mean, it's it's a stat and relic check. The mechanics aren't really that complex, <laughs> even though I said I'm bad at them, uh, then I'm good at not being the best at things. But um, yeah, we, we need to. We also need to acknowledge that perhaps, perhaps we want to. Um, I, I, I always just select the fighter here first, guys. We do massive damage every time. I just acknowledge that this is this is very dependent on having the right stats if you don't have the good mods that's gonna be a rough raid for you probably so we're doing massive damage to everyone so i made a mistake there with mace targeting the weakest character because he would have just one shot whoever he chose to hit there on one shot because of the fighters that are helping us and you can see we have all the characters who are able to like hit back and it's kind of nice i mean you call mass assists you do all this stuff and yeah, we're, we're able to do accomplish quite a bit here. So, yeah, all right, snipe through them. Now we got the first one with two droidicas. Let's see. Uh, so my candy money can never quite finish off a droidica. You can see how close we are. Let's see. If we, I think we can kill a full health one there. Yeah. Okay. So then Killer and Beck can go back, and he can kill that other droidica. There we go. Hand of the turn to Kieti Mundi once again. And again, we're targeting droids that have the B1s that have the most turn meter. So sometimes I'll stop and just look at them and, and like, oh, which one, which one recently took a turn? Uh, you know, which, which one, um, didn't. 
<laughs> it's there's a lot of choices there, guys. So yeah, that guy's maxed out, and he had full turn meter. Pretty pretty good target. And then Killer Beck again, just like Ayla, he just he uses the mass assist call, which is like the little training droid icon, and then otherwise he just calls. Oh, so that was the that's the mass assist, and then he does his basics. He doesn't do his other one. Now we had to use our ability there to just snipe out that one B1 because we couldn't target the lead. And now, well, we get the stabs, right? So this one I always just choose. The morale is best. And people can pipe up in the comments. Maybe there's more nuance to this than I've been able to discover, but I don't really change the, the fighter help as much. Uh, when, oh yeah, so target a fresh stab here. I don't, I don't, I haven't found a ton of nuance in that, to be honest, guys. Maybe there is. There probably is, frankly. Um, you know. And I'll, I'll admit that I'm dumb. some Because sometimes I am. <laughs> Often, in fact. Alright, so they're hitting us back. And one thing you, you really want is... I mean, you want Mace to be hitting back as well. Hey, look at that. Ayla called someone to assist. Wonderful. But yeah, you want, you want Mace to be hitting back. You want him to be taking a lot of turns, if possible. Another reason you want a lot of health is you see his protection is disabled right now. And it's a whole mess. Alright, call Kiedi Mundi. And call a target that he's able to try to want, like, he, he's actually capable of one-shotting, in in theory. Like, try, try to max it out. You might have to practice a little bit to get to that point. But, um, yeah, if, if you have him modded and Kelleran Beck modded the right way, He's able to just one shot basically every time. At least at, at the Relic 7 level. Relic 8, I think that's going to be the same as well, but we'll see. Alright, try to snipe out Droidica's here. Got that one. This one is uh, a little thicker than, than probably we wanted, but. Man, there's just so many of them, guys. And this is the one that you're going to be able to tell. If, you, if you're going to fail on this one, this is the one you're gonna find out in because they're gonna take so many turns and that enraged percent is gonna go up and up and up and remember guys you yes they do extra damage once they're enraged in whatever whichever wave you're in but it doesn't just totally completely screw you over until you get to the next wave which is kind of a nice little addition from CG to be honest so uh, well, yeah, we're just, just trying to snipe people out. Uh, Mace can use his second special, their first special, second ability, to dispel on the Droidica, which is nice. Shakti is just hitting someone with a little lower health. Let's choose someone with full health for the mass assist, because that always that, that's one thing that is pretty consistently going to kill someone. Just like Mace calling Kieti Mundi to assist. Snipe someone else out there with Kieti Mundi. There we go. Alright guys, so this is the final wave. So choose the final thing. Here's the one with all the debuffs on them. Everyone has mostly full uh, turn meter. We didn't quite kill Stap. You can see that the final waves just start having a lot of extra hit points. You want to kill those Staps as quick as you can, though. And then, honestly, a lot of the damage we're doing, a lot of the kills we're getting, is just from hitting people back, which, which is nice. And this is this is just, guys, uh, you need stats for this. For this fight, this is the one that feels so frustrating a lot of times because... You're like, man, I'm so close to getting over the hump there, and then you just you just can't. And if you upgrade Shock T to Relic 8 or something, like I really wanted to do, then she gets bonus health and offense, and that probably really helps, you know? I do have Relic 9 on Mace, but <clears throat> that didn't seem to help that much. Now, we just barely snuck under here, folks, so now we're, they're, already, <laughs> they're already enraged. Like I said, this is this is the toughest one to, to do well in, folks. A lot of people are going to want to settle for somewhere in the, you know, over a thousand, but significantly less 
than that. Oh yeah, see, Getty Mundy failed to kill someone here, so now it, his cooldowns didn't reset. So now he's he's got to use other abilities. It's disturbing, folks. It's very challenging. But now that we're in the final wave, so these guys are hitting pretty hard, but we have we have a lot of hit points. We have a lot of uh, of recovery, so we should be okay here. Let's do the mass assist on the droidica that's available for death, and we can keep on moving. Now, Shakti should right here. So you can call Kiedi Monday, or you could do. She could just do a basic to dispel Droidica. I actually think I should have dispelled Droidica with her basic. Is what I think I should have done. I don't think it matters an enormous amount, anyways. Let's just make sure we get the kill there with Kiedi Monday, because we're really struggling to kill, get any kills right now. One thing that I noticed too, folks, we just can't crit them very easily. But, like, we do crit them, but, like, Kellerin Beck has a bunch of crit chance. He's, he's got over 100% crit chance, and he only crits about half the time that I've noticed. I don't think it's going to be worthwhile to add a bunch of crit chance, though. That is something I'd be interested to watch. I mean, some people with crazy mods can probably pull that off quite a bit. Pretty well. So, yeah, guys, just a, just a mod check, that's all. Mod check, relic check, the, the, the relics, the nice thing is, I mean, I think I think the really fast teams you do benefit because your guys kind of squeeze in a few extra turns here and there, which is something that I'm not really that accustomed to in a lot of raids, but I think that really helps. The other thing just being, so lots of speed, and then if you can add more relic levels, which, I mean, that's what the raid is for anyways, right? Getting us relic materials. So, uh, that's it, folks. We killed we killed the waves of them and won, apparently. So, that's it. Uh, watch in the video description, folks, for other videos I'm going to be putting in all of these. I'll be putting a Naboo raid um, playlist. And in that playlist, I'll have all five of the best teams available. And then if there are any other final, like, compilation or videos that I'm going to be doing on it, I'll be putting them all in the same playlist. And then in each video description, I'll update those as more videos come out. So you guys can just go straight from the video description into whatever that is that you, you know, whatever video, other videos you want. So, all right, guys, I'm out of here. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment. Huge shout out to my patrons. You guys are amazing. Uh, mount the algorithm, folks. Please. Please. Please, please, please. Have a good one, folks.